We use the term birth control or contraception when we are talking about preventing pregnancy. Although certain forms of birth control can also be used for other purposes, such as treating common gynecological problems like heavy or painful periods. What are the main types of birth control? There are many birth control options available. Here's a brief overview of some of the most common types. Keep in mind that some methods are much more effective than others. One of the most effective birth control methods is the IUD or intrauterine device. An IUD is a small device that is inserted in your uterus and can stay in place for up to three to 10 years, depending on which IUD is used. IUDs are over 99% effective in preventing pregnancy. They are reliable, safe, and last a long time. Some IUDs slowly release the hormone progestin, which can also make periods lighter and less painful. Some patients even stop getting their periods while using the IUD, which is safe and does not have any negative impact on reproductive health. Implants are another very effective form of long-lasting birth control that is over 99% effective in preventing pregnancy. A contraceptive implant is a flexible plastic rod about the size of a matchstick that a healthcare provider places just under the skin of the upper arm. It releases a low, steady dose of the hormone progestin, which prevents pregnancy. Implants typically need to be replaced every three to four years by a health professional. It's important to note that that implant and the IUD are reversible, so you can have it removed when you no longer need it. The shot is another long-term birth control method that is very effective at preventing pregnancy. This injection is given at your healthcare provider's clinic every three months. Patients may experience some weight gain with this shot, and so this side effect should be discussed with your medical provider. Other hormonal forms of birth control include a pill that must be taken every day, a patch that goes on the skin like a bandage and needs to be replaced once a week, and a ring that must be placed in the vagina every month. These forms of birth control can be controlled by the person using them, but are slightly less effective than the shot, implant, or IUD. If you miss a pill or forget to replace the patch or ring, the birth control will be less effective, and you'll have a greater chance of becoming pregnant. Condoms are the only form of birth control that not only works to prevent pregnancy, but also prevent sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. Condoms are about 82% effective at preventing pregnancy when used alone but they can be more effective when used in combination with another birth control method. Using a latex or polyurethane condom every time you have sex is important to help prevent STIs. However, lambskin condoms do not provide protection against infections. Latex condoms should always be used with water-based lubricants as oil-based lubricants can reduce the effectiveness and durability of the condom. Are there reasons for birth control other than preventing pregnancy? Hormonal birth control treatments like the pill, the patch, the ring, the shot, the implant, and an IUD are sometimes prescribed to treat menstrual cramps or very heavy periods. The hormones in these birth control methods make the lining of the uterus thinner, which lessens the buildup of menstrual blood and can reduce cramping. Birth control pills may also be prescribed to treat conditions like PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome or endometriosis. They can also be used to treat irregular or absent menstrual periods. Some methods may even help with treating hormonal acne. In short, a person may take birth control pills for reasons that have nothing to do with pregnancy prevention. Even people who are not sexually active may be prescribed birth control pills for other medical reasons. From first conversations to treatment, Boston Children's Hospital is committed to keeping children and adolescents healthy. For more information on birth control, please speak with your primary care or gynecology provider or visit bostonchildrens.org.